What's up everybody, it's Meech, and Sony XB650 is on the radar. All right, the name is long, so we're just gonna call these the five, the 650s. Basically, they're the little brother to the Sony XB 950s. We're gonna call those the 950s. I did a previous review on those, and I will leave the link at the top and in the description. Those are my favorite headphones, and I will use them as a comparison base during the review of these headphones. So, the only accessories is a USB cable for charging. There's no optional cable plug. These are 100% wireless headphones, so you will need a Bluetooth-ready device to pair them with. Now for the build quality. The build quality is solid. They are lightweight and made of mostly plastic. The headband is metal with soft leather on the inside, and the connectors are plastic and metal. They do not feel flimsy at all. Now for the functions. You have a slider for skipping, rewinding, and pausing songs, as well as answering calls. Press the skip button to answer the call, and press and hold to hang up. The sound quality on calls is decent. I don't use it very often. It is a cool feature, though, especially when I'm in the gym. It's not best if you have a lot of background noise, but it's okay for quick conversations. We have a volume control, a mic for the phone calls, a power on and off button. There's no bass boost button on these headphones. That was my favorite feature on the 950s. Press to turn on and hold until the light blinks faster and it's ready to pair to a device. Pairing with the Bluetooth is made super easy with the NFC feature on my Android. Just tap and pair. You do have to take the case off. I don't think it works for you iPhone users and it kind of sucks for you guys though. <laughs> Let's talk about comfort. The ear pads are soft leather and fit comfortably on your ears. I can wear them for long periods of time without them becoming uncomfortable and they do stay in place on my head. They are very um, comfortable unlike many headphones that I've used in the past. For those that don't know, on the ear headphones fit on your ear and the ones that have the bigger cups are called over the ear that fits, your ear fits inside of the cup like the 950s. Um, then you have the earbuds and those are obvious, obviously called in ear headphones. I don't know why I can't talk. Why it's important is because over the ear headphones block out the outside noise and it keeps the music from leaking out to everyone around you. You can't hear their annoying voices when they're trying to talk to you and they're not bothered by the loud music that's pumping out of the headphones. So that's that's the difference. Sound quality. The sound quality is very good in my opinion. Um, I like the sound and the bass of these headphones, but the sound quality is subjective to each person. My wife used these headphones a lot and she loved the sound and the comfort. She's not as picky as, as I am with headphones. Um, the bass is pretty good and you know that from my other videos, if you've watched them, I'm a bass guy. That's the only thing I care about. Um, but they're not as powerful as the 950s, um, but they still have pretty good bass. Pros. They're lightweight, they sound good, they're comfortable, and they do last long on the charge. They say about 30 hours, but I always charge them every couple of days. And I never let them run down to see how long they really do last, um, but they last. The bass is good, they're built well, they're not overly expensive, and they're wireless. And oh yeah, the range is better actually than the 950, so that's definitely a plus. Let's get into the cons. Being that they are on-ear headphones, they don't cancel out all of the outside noise, and it is a little sound leakage, but it's not bad at all in both of those areas. Not having the optional cord is a con because I do find myself using it with my other wireless headphones, and um, I really can't stress it though because it is wireless headphones, so you know why you're buying the headphones. But um, then again, if you have older devices that are not Bluetooth capable, then you can't use it, and you have to have another set of headphones. When I go to the gym, I like to bring the cord just in case. And although I always keep them charged, it's good to know that in a pinch, I can still use my headphones if I don't have a charge. Um, they don't fold or come with a carry case. So for some people, that could be a problem. But for me, it hasn't been an issue. I love those features when I was using the Samsung level on headphones. But since the 950s have been my main headphones, it has not been a problem at all. They fit in my gym bag very well. They fit in my gym bag. And um, other than that, I keep them on a stand on my desk when I'm not using them, so I'm good. Um, the range, like I said before, is better than the 950s, but overall, they, it's not great. So they, I think that's where they can make the biggest improvement with these headphones. Personal thoughts. I like these headphones. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. If you're interested, I would say get them, but 
They are a step behind the 950 model in every way, so I would not recommend these over them. It all comes down to the price point and what you're willing to spend. The, the 650s are currently on Amazon for $78 compared to the 950s at $128. So that's a $50 difference. If you can afford it, I would say go with the 950s. I'll leave the Amazon links for both in the description. So if you can check them out for yourself, please leave a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And if you have used either headphones, leave it a comment in the comment section let me know what you thought about them and don't forget to subscribe then hit the bell button so you can be alerted next time when we upload a video so you can find out what pops up next on the radar